David Gergen and want to uh, join in welcoming you to the Kennedy School. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing more of you as the year progresses. Uh, I've been asked to be very brief, and I'll try to do that, although it's contrary to my nature. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> this school, as you, uh, I'm sure by now know, has long had two stated missions. Uh, one is to work toward the solution of uh, pressing public policy issues, and the other is to prepare young leaders or leaders for the common good. Uh, and for much of the school's history, it was the first of those missions which to, was dominant uh, until about 10 or 15 years ago. There was one, one member of this faculty who was a pioneer, Ron Heifetz, who you'll hear from today, who was the, the, the one sole person who was teaching leadership here and was extraordinarily popular and remains among our alumni, the one person they often say they want to hear from when they come back. You'll have a chance to hear why in a moment. Uh, but uh, it was some 10 years ago that the school made a commitment to take more seriously the notion of preparing uh, uh, leaders uh, for the common good. Uh, and we raised money for that uh, with the notion that the business school, business schools in general, but this business school in particular, works hard to prepare people to be CEOs. Uh, and that there ought to be a comparable effort uh, to prepare people to manage and lead uh, nonprofits and in the public sector and indeed in the private sector for the common good. And that's when the Center for Public Leadership was launched. Uh, we have now built a faculty of some 10 uh, individuals. Uh, you'll be hearing from another one, uh, one, just one of our most recent uh, 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 recruits here at the Kennedy School, Jennifer Lerner, uh, who is full professor and works on decision making, uh, drawing heavily upon neurology as well as upon uh, the uh, findings of uh, social psychology. So it's a, it's a broad, diverse group. Uh, and the center itself, uh, like other centers, uh, and Chris, you'll hear from Chris Stone here in a moment about the Hauser Center. It's a wonderful place, and I urge you to spend time with the Hauser Center. And you will find that there's a close alliance between the Hauser Center and the Center for Public Leadership because we care about many of the same things. Uh, we have built a faculty but, and a research side, as all the other centers have, uh, the other centers tend to, in the, at the school, and they're hard to understand, uh, learning an organizational chart for the Kennedy School should be your first project. It will take a couple of weeks. Um, but the centers, uh, the other centers tend to st stress public policy making. We put a great emphasis upon student development. And we try to serve as a home for students. Uh, we've moved on to the main campus. We're just across the courtyard. Uh, and uh, you will hear more from Donna Calico in a moment about our, uh, some of our student efforts. But let me just say, um, our commitment is to do everything we can to help you in your own personal development. And <clears throat> that is a, something we take as our, as our strong, strong obligation. We're very proud that as a center, we've worked with the deans, uh, including David L Elwood, uh, to raise money for student scholarships. Uh, we've raised some $40 million for student scholarships. Uh, and we have some 75 students who are on scholarship for whom the CPL uh, is the home. And we provide a lot of programs for them, but we also provide programs for people who are not on these scholarships. It's very important to us uh, to do that. Uh, we have many other programs. I won't take your time now. Come to our ice cream social on Thursday and you'll hear uh, more about it. Uh, but we do, uh, we, we have, we want to work with people who have been in the shadows in the past. Uh, we've started a women's leadership program at the executive level uh, that, has, uh, that Hannah Riley Bowles, who is, uh, uh, has, has taken the lead on. Uh, we have just raised seed money for a program for Latino leaders. Uh, we are seeking ways to raise money for African American leaders. And we are working also with uh, young global leaders from around the world who come here once a year from the World Economic Forum. Uh, we have many different ways in which we're trying to, to reach out, and we welcome your we'll work with students. We have a student advisory board. Uh, we're the only center, I think, right now that has a student advisory board. The input of the student advisors is extremely important. They were, they were critical last year, and twice we've now had uh, celebrations of military veterans uh, and their leadership. Uh, both from the Kennedy School and from the Business School and the Law School. And we work with other schools around uh, the, uh, uh, the university and beyond. Now, I can tell you none of this would be possible were it not for the fact we had a Cracker Jack staff, a team. Uh, and uh, they, they have, they're the mainstay, and the leader of that team is Donna Calico. Let me introduce her to you now, and she can wrap this up, and they're already holding up signs. The hooks are already starting to appear. Uh, where's Donna Calico? There's Donna, right there. So, okay, thank you.
I only have 30 seconds out of our five minutes. Thank you, David. Um, I'm going to be brief. I'm Donna Calco, the Executive Director of the Center for Public Leadership. As David indicated, we're on the first floor of Taubman, and my first and most important thing uh, to say to you is that you are all invited to visit us, to drop in, to sit on the couch in the front, to schedule events in the Darman Seminar Room, to get involved with us in terms of our Student Advisory Board. Our Student Advisory Board leaders, um, Matt Siller and Janice Flynn are out. Um, Janice, I believe, is here and is accepting um, applications in terms of you serving on the Student Advisory Board. We um, include 10, and you are really the crux of the programming and also the impetus behind some of the most creative stuff that, we, that the center does on, on your behalf. The only other thing I want to mention is that we have a leadership course guide that's hot off the press. Of course, in the interests of environmental protection, here is the card where you can get it on the website to print it off, and that is also out at the front desk. And is, there, is there a table? There's a table. There is a table out there, and you'll see our sign behind it. And the last thing that David mentioned in, is the co-curricular program, our inner journey, ice cream, social, food always works to get you there. And in terms beer of better. beer does work better, this is true. <laughs> That's for later in the season. If you accomplish your inner journey, then maybe we can celebrate that at the end of it. And that is um, in NIABC on Thursdays, 6.30 to 8.30. And we're going to tell you a lot more about the center at that, at that particular time. Am I done? Thank you very much.